Okay, this will be a very strange one, a little bit of an interesting one. Let's see what we can do with it. It's an interesting piece. I've never done one like it before. So let's see if we can make it look good. We'll go at 200 to start with. The nerds will inherit the copier world. Yes, they will. Okay, let's see what we have. It's going to be a little bit fiddly to handle. It's, this is the bottom of it. This is meant to be a kite, supposedly the world's smallest kite. I'm just going to take it gently out of its packaging and show you the front of it. So this is, or the bottom of it, that's the beautiful uh, holographic material. And we've got the... the um, whatever you call it. Oh, I don't know what to call it. We're just going to put it on the glass. Looks interesting, I must say. Um, I'm just going to line it up nicely with the edge as much as we can. Um, just going to play with the buttons. Going to leave the lid open. Now, I think 200 is way too small. I'm thinking maybe 300 by something. Don't know. I'll just use my intuition to, to do it. I think 390 is too big. 360 is probably more the right size. The vertical will just be 300. So yeah, the world's smallest kite is supposed to be. Well, that's what it said on the packaging. I got it in an op shop and it was already it was all wrapped up, it wasn't opened. So I'll probably re-donate it. In, it'll be still in mint condition uh, despite it all. Wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. But basically, this is like, yeah, they say it's the world's smallest kite. My, I remember when I was a kid, my dad, I know my dad's an asshole, forget that for a moment. Uh, my dad used to build us uh, brown paper kites and they seemed to work really well. Uh, you wouldn't want them to get wet. You wouldn't want it to rain, but they worked quite well. Um, very well made. One of the good memories in my family when we used to go kite flying in cans in a big park in a big park um, I don't know if that park is still there and I don't know the name of the park but we used to go flying kite flying you don't see many kites these days I don't know if they're illegal if that's the reason why because there there's not enough uh, safe places to fly it or maybe too many people got electrocuted when their kite ended up on power lines or something. Usually this happens a lot these days, a lot of nanny state rules about things. Um, I know they're intended to make things safer, but maybe people would get busted, you know, like sued for negligence. So that's basically understandable, but that looks really nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.